All right, what the hell is going on, people? Uh, just talking about uh, Microsoft's acquisition of ZeniMax uh, Media. That's been uh, a big headline for the last few days, was whenever it first dropped. I'm gonna put it like that. Uh, the first one, uh, whenever it first dropped, I was just aware of it the last few days. So, um, going over my portfolio and stuff like that, I just so happen to be going through my portfolio, and Microsoft is a big part of my retirement <laughs> uh, portfolio. So, and I spent all day on my Xbox <laughs> and all the games, I'd say 90% of the games I've played since the early 2000s have all been Bethesda titles. So, yeah, that goes hand in hand, like bam. So I saw that, and I was like, huh, I, I really don't know what to think about it. Everybody gets excited, and I, you know, I, I did get excited about it, you know. I had to look at it from a pragmatic standpoint and start thinking about, okay, Microsoft has made all these acquisitions. They bought all these companies. And I'm trying to think of which one of these companies they done bought then did better. You know what I'm saying? They fucked up a lot of companies that they done bought. Or just, just to put it simple. You know, um, it's a bunch of companies. You know, this is not that type of video, but it's a lot of companies Microsoft and bought that and went <laughs> Skype being one. Uh, Nokia, if y'all didn't know, the little phone people, that, that's another one. And <laughs> um, it's a few more. You know, they got linked, they bought LinkedIn. LinkedIn is. Now, I got a LinkedIn account. I had a LinkedIn account for a long ass time. I didn't even know Microsoft even owned that shit. But it's it's not a place for me. It's a professional social media type thing. And I, there's nothing for me to do on LinkedIn. So I can't really speak of how well it's, um, it's doing. Because it's just, it looked like a boring ass Facebook. It just, <laughs> that's what it looked like. But, I mean, it probably serves its purpose. If it's still up and going and worth as much as it is, then it's, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But once I uh, got the news, you know what I'm saying, and um, I did. I bolstered my, um, I bolstered up my fucking, um, my portfolio. I was, like I said, I was right in the middle of it. And I was like, okay, so we got this. So I can ride that for a while. I mean, I don't think the deal is going to be done for a while, but, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people sticking their little fingers in their little Microsoft uh, stock pile. And that ain't going to but drive up the uh, stock price. So that's good for me. You know, so I put I put some, some money. I had to switch my, I can't put no more money in my retirement. So I have to move money around. I took the shit out that was losing money and that was just sitting still. I put it in the uh, Microsoft, which was sitting still and losing money. You know, I mean, they up year to date, but um, yeah, they stock was doing. And then we got this little crash that we had the last few days. And Microsoft is one of the few companies that's in the positive and only by like 1%. But being up 1% um, in, in the environment that the stock market is in the last few days is fucking great. You know what I'm saying? It's great. That me that and that's on on the news of what just happened. Now, as far as game wise is concerned, you know, I I don't I don't know what the fuck to expect. Uh, I think a lot of stuff they got now. I got my game pass, and I think this is one of the things. And I was just about to cancel my game pass, like within the next few weeks, because I don't use it. I have game pass. I don't fucking use it. I don't. I go on there and I look and I'll be like, I don't want to play none of these games on here. Like literally, I'm like, I don't want to play none of these games on here. And that, that has more to do with me than the games that's on there. But you know, when I look at it, I'm like, I don't want to play none of these games. 
I got it to uh get uh what's that um fucking the outer worlds. You know, I got it to get the outer worlds. Uh and that was just and the outer worlds had been out a while. Um so I got I ended up getting that. I played it for about a couple of hours. And then I just left it the fuck alone. I went back to playing fucking Fallout 4. Um, I didn't much care for it. <laughs> I, I, I really don't. It was just, it, I, it's something about it. I didn't, I didn't even get out the beginning area out of, out of the Outer Worlds. I didn't. I was just like, I, I, I would have to cancel my subscription to ESO, which is what I play now, um, and just play that. Which I might end up doing. My ESO, it's what, September 20 something now? And uh, October 18th, my subscription to ESO will be up. So I think I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna play the hell out of it until then. I'm gonna cancel it. And I'm gonna lay off of ESO at least for a few months. Cause you have to do that. It's just, that's how I have to do it. I'll play it for a while. And, and then once the subscription is up, you know, I've been in cancel it so it don't renew and not play it for a while because I don't buy none of the fucking uh, the little expansions and none of that shit. It's just, it's too much. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's too much. I got to pay a monthly fee uh, just for the game to be fucking playable to me because you can't pick up anything in that goddamn game because you have you basically have to pay for pack space. And I ain't talking about the in-game gold shit. I'm talking about um, uh, like real money, you know, ESO with your craft bag and all that other shit. You, unless you just playing the game and not giving a fuck about none of the rest of the shit anybody else is doing, it, you know, whatever. But once you get involved in all that, it's basically unplayable. Because it cuts your bank space in half and you, you don't have your craft bag, which means your inventory is fucking full all the time. It means you can't pick up anything. You can't. It, it sucks. So, yeah. Um, I only play it when my uh, subscription is active. So I'm going to have to lay off for that for a while because I've been playing it for, you know, since day one, you know, off and on. Because, yeah, I'm not going to have that subscription just going on forever. But, you know, uh, as far as uh, the outer worlds, um, I didn't like it and this news dropped and you know with Zenimax which everybody the, the, the fucking news people and not so news people everybody got a Microsoft bought Bethesda Microsoft bought Bethesda no Microsoft bought Zenimax Media you know what I'm saying <laughs> Microsoft bought Zenimax Media I know it's all semantics at this point, but you have, they didn't buy Bethesda. Bethesda was included in the package. It's just like um, you buy a goddamn uh, a bag of fucking fruit. I bought a bag of fruit. You know, Microsoft, I bought a bag of fruit. And then somebody come along, fuck it, uh, fuck it. Uh, Microsoft just bought a pair. They bought a pair. No, motherfucker, they bought a fucking bag of fruit. Just happens to be a pear in there. So it's a, but in that bag of fruit, it's a lot of shit in there. So, but they own all of it, you know, and the rights to all that shit, or they will. And so everybody is sticking their fingers in there trying to figure out how all this is going to play out. Now, you already know, everybody, the first thing that come out of people's mouth is they start sucking New Vegas dick. Which uh, you know, I I played the shit out of New Vegas. You know, I play I I played all the Fallout Three. I played the shit out of fucking New Vegas. Now I ain't had shit to do with Fallout before Fallout Three. So all those people, those people that's the butt hurt folks, man, they changed the game and whatever. Um, <laughs> and that's how I think of them. They be crying and me. Why Fallout ain't Fallout? I see. I watch all the videos. I done seen damn near all the videos on YouTube. Why Fallout ain't Fallout and the downfall of Fallout and all that other shit. I done seen all those videos. It's just get the fuck over it. They couldn't afford to keep their own game, so they fucking lost it. 
and somebody else ran with it. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. It'd be like me mad at the Tennessee Titans for changing their goddamn name from the Oilers to the fucking, hey, they changed the goddamn name and the fucking, well, shit, you know what I mean? They moved the fucking team. It ain't the Oilers no more, it's the fucking Titans. It ain't fucking, it ain't your fallout no more, it's fallout three, you know? <laughs> it's just, whatever, get over it. So, I played, I, I played all the fucking fallout three. All the DLCs and all that shit. I played all the shit through um, um, Fallout New Vegas several times, you know, with different characters. You know what I'm saying? I played through Fallout 3, but I played through Fallout New Vegas several times with different themed characters. And so, you know, obviously I like New Vegas more than I like fucking... Um, Fallout 3, but I'm not one of those you know, people that just suck it. It's the greatest Fallout ever. Blah 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 blah. And that's I. Even with I, with this news I'm watching, that's what I'm hearing. No, oh, they gonna make a New Vegas. For, why? Why? You know why would they make a New Vegas too? I mean, ain't, wouldn't they just make a different Fallout, not a New Vegas too, since they genuinely change the uh, location of these games? You know, why would they make a New Vegas 2? It would be, you know, Fallout something else. It would just be a different title. It wouldn't be fucking New Vegas 2. But, you know, I had to hear all that. And I'm like, oh, man, they they doing it. They talking about, I don't know nothing about Starfield. I've been hearing that name for the last, I don't know how long. And they're talking about, well, when Starfield and Starfield is... I have no idea what that game is supposed to be or what. I I, I don't know. You know, I have no fucking... I, I was hearing about Starfield before fucking 76 came out, I think. Probably. And then and, and date for that is way the fuck off. You know. And <laughs> the date for the other games, they're talking about the Elder Scrolls and Fallout and all the other shit that's supposed to be coming out. Years from now, I'm like, I'm 45. I'm 44 now. I'll be 45 in October. By the time the, uh, another Fallout and another Elder Scrolls come out, I'll be fucking 50-something years old. I don't even see myself fucking around with, with video games and shit by the time I'm 50 fucking years old. I should have some other shit going on. Not to say, you know, at 45, it's like, eh. But just in the future, just, you know, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I got problems with my vision. I got It's all kind of shit going on. Five years down the goddamn line, I don't see myself sitting here waiting on a motherfucking uh, release of Elder Scrolls 6 or Fallout 5 or some shit. I don't. You know, now, my my retirement account, I hope, hopefully at that point, will be happy to see that shit coming along. Be like, oh, there's some more shit dropping, which is, you know, them stock, you know, when that shit happens, like the holiday season come along, like it's going to come along now, bloop, bloop, bloop. And, you know, it, that shit will jump up couple of percent every week a couple of percent every week one two percent every goddamn week you gotta think about it. you know over time you know over time man that money just keeps stacking y'all keep doing what you do you know i invest my money where i spend my money i got my fucking <laughs> xbox live and fucking uh elder scrolls and game pass and all that shit i plan on getting all that back you know what I'm saying? I plan on getting all that back. I don't think I'm going to get all that back. <laughs> all the money I've spent on this shit up to this point, I don't think I'm getting any of that back. Not like, you know, not, you know, it's, if I actually counted that shit up and added it, I'm just like, man, really, we waste this got much? Ooh, man, shit. I get, I, you know, I feel like I get my money's worth, you know. I spend all my goddamn time in front of my TV on my Xbox or on my computer in front of a fucking windows program whatever that's why i spend my money because that's why i spend my motherfucking time so yeah it, it is what it is um what else did i see um yeah they was talking about all these release dates and shit like I, i'm like i have no idea about none of that um what is microsoft what they influence gonna be like on the games that come out and the games that are already out you know that you know that's ongoing 
I don't know. Like I said, Microsoft got a bad habit of fucking up shit they acquire. Now they are they going to throw shit, you know, or they going to start overseeing everything that these companies do, which probably they will to some degree. You know, it's one of the things like one of the things that popped in my head was um, I think I've seen this on a couple of videos of the Todd Howard, you know, with his thought on the players um, want for, you know, somewhat innovation or additions to the characters of video games. And he was, he was everybody, everybody that's seen this shit, you know, it gives you the idea of what, what kind of mindset they got at Bethesda and why they going through the shit they going through right now. He was talking about, well, you know, the players, you know, why don't we add spears and, and add other throwing weapons and stuff like that into the game, which is basically shit that they took out, you know, after Morrowind. Um, you know, add, you know, races and other shit, which there are other races in the lore of uh, the Elder Scrolls and stuff like that, you know, so. Uh, there's precedent, precedence, you know, for what the the players are asking for and he was like you know you know well how can we make the races we have more interesting you know what i'm saying i think what we have is enough you know instead of adding all this other stuff how can we you know slim down what we have and make what we have more interest some to that degree you know what i'm saying we want and you know i put myself in the we want more shit in the goddamn game you know what i'm saying we want more shit in the game. Not shit as in just stuff, but tangible, you know, more characters. We have up there all other races in the Elder Scrolls lore. You know what I'm saying? The way y'all going with the game, y'all going to have to expand. The shit probably going to get added in somewhere down the line. I'd probably be dead by the end, you know. Um, but it's there. Why won't you have fucking like throwing weapons and, and spears and shit like that? Right, why wasn't it a pipe shotgun in fucking Fallout 4, which the weapons in Fallout 4 were fucking horrible. Don't get me started on that. But, you know, why wasn't it a pipe shotgun? You got to go into a mod or something to make one of them shits. And <laughs> you, it's, it's horrible. There's no pump shotgun in fucking uh, Fallout 4. Why? Why is there not a pump shotgun? You only got this stupid ass pump uh combat shotgun they didn't have pump action shotguns they had them in fucking new vegas <laughs> the dinner bell baby i get that motherfucker every goddamn game playthrough um yeah so will that kind of uh will that kind of thinking continue you know what i'm saying or they or will microsoft kind of step in and 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 uh be more player friendly as far as stuff like that is concerned to where uh Bethesda game studios are clearly on the side of streamlining their video games to the public which is I mean streamlining extremely it's just like okay to where the rest of us who've been playing these games for I don't know how long it's just like okay I I don't even know what the fuck this is now the same thing they was people was complaining about with the Fallout games, you know what I'm saying? But mm, I'm like, it's certain stuff you have to take out. It's, it's micromanage is one thing, but you know, a lot of the details that's in like a lot of old RPGs and stuff is just ridiculous. I'm like, it's all right, there's too goddamn much. There's, there's a balance there, but then you get to the point where you know, when you get to like Skyrim and shit like that, to where. They're, they're, like I said, they done, they done sapped all that shit out of the game. I played Morrowind, fucking uh, Oblivion, and Skyrim. <laughs> and even I, as even then a 30-something-year-old dude, I'm like, okay, there's shit missing out the goddamn game. What the fuck is this? At some point, my mind just kind of left that. I just threw myself into the game and just... You know, went you know went along with it, just like uh, ESO. It's so much shit in the ESO. I don't, I can't even, I can't even compute 
you know what I'm saying, what's missing and, you know, trying to compare it to the regular adventure style games. I it's, it's, it's too much shit for me to worry about it now to be worried about what's missing and what's not. You know, you got all kind of other shit, mechanics and stuff in the game you got to goddamn worry about other than the uh, also having to deal with the player base and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's complicated. MMOs are a different beast when you have to deal with the game and the people because the people will piss you off and make you not want to play the game no more. You get into a dungeon, you know, if you got headphones and shit like that on and you got people trying to figure out, you know, what, you know, like now they got, you know, folks can say, I don't, I, I don't know how to do it, but people can see your motherfucking, uh, your health, right? You got such and such health. Somebody just said, I know how to make, you know, do that. They just, you say, the only thing I do is just hover your cursor over the player. I'm like, when I do it, it don't do that. So it's something I, ain't, I got ain't set that way. But people ask, why you got 36, uh, 36K health? Why the fuck do you care? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why do you care? You're not, you're, t what sets you running? Why? So you can go tell me that I need to be running something else? You know what I'm saying? That, and you, that's what you have to deal with. If you being sociable in a MMO, you know, you run across groups of people, not all of them. I ran across a group of people that didn't really much give a shit. You know, what the fuck you was running. Uh, unless you was doing something really specific, like regular dungeons and shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck. You know, every once in a while, you got to get rid of people, and, you know, get kicked out of groups. I got kicked out of groups. Uh, it ain't always your fault. You know, sometimes people kick you out the group so they can bring somebody they know in. It just, it happens. But you got to be willing to deal with that. It's, it's, it's bullshit. You know, um, are there any other MMOs on Microsoft? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think there are any other MMOs on Microsoft. I have to look and see, but I'm, I'm, I can't think of any. I've been, I've been, any classic RPG type games, even those are few and far between. I think I got some downloaded, but they like independent. They're none of the big, big ones. The only big one I got left is uh, Lost Odyssey. I still got that downloaded. I don't know how to play it, but I and I already beat the game, but I keep it downloaded because that's like the last of those turn-based RPGs. So I keep that downloaded, and I'm gonna have to actually play it at some point. We got the rain coming down. Um, I'm trying to think of what else Microsoft, what other influence they can have. Um, I can't think of nothing right off the top of my head. No, because I, I I don't really fuck. I I've played the the big mainstream games. You know, I've either played Elder Scrolls, Fallout, or Call of Duty, literally for the last at least ten years. That's what I played. There's been a few other games sprinkled in there somewhere that I I couldn't even tell you what they were, but it's only a few other games that have been sprinkled in there. But it's Call of Duty, fucking uh. <laughs> What Call of Duty, Elder Scrolls, Fallout. That's it. And um, like I said, this this been a real big thing when I was like, man, all this stuff is coming together now. Microsoft and and Zenimax, you know, they 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 all in one bundle now. And hopefully, Microsoft don't fuck it up. You know, hopefully Microsoft kind of leaves the infrastructure in place but does something like they uh, uh they talking about you know splitting up the um the franchises fallout and elder scrolls to where you know it, it might be another company inside of that umbrella that does fallout they might give it back to obsidian or or whatnot because you know, the way it's going now, you, you'll get a fallout in the fucking Elder Scrolls every fucking 10 years or some shit like that. Or, um, and plus all the other games that's, that I be hearing about that I just ain't never played. I had no interest. I had no interest in Doom. Um, 
what, Wolfenstein or what? This, they got other games that I've heard the names of. Just I have no interest in playing because I spent all my time on those three games. The three games that I play are games that fucking I play. Like right now, I'm I'm looking to finish a mission that I'm on right now. Like literally right now, my where well, my shit probably timed out right now. Um, playing fucking uh, ESO. When I get finished with that, I'm gonna play me some fucking Fallout 4 because I still literally hadn't beaten Fallout 4 yet. I've watched so many videos of it, it's just, what's the fucking point? I haven't been through, I have no interest in going through the uh, fucking, what's that, the last DLC. And you gotta think about it. You think, I got as many characters on fucking uh, Fallout as I got on fucking, uh, <laughs> uh, what's that, on. Um, ESO and it's like I got to the point now even on ESO I want I mean I, I want to delete one of those characters and start another one because damn like these characters will start to like overlap and shit like that so I don't know I don't know man I'll figure it out <laughs> I'll figure it out I, I really do I don't it's and oh man it's I don't know, man. I, just, I don't be having shit else. That's what happened when you're bored and ain't got shit else to do. You sit there. You're like, I want to make another character. I remember when I had, like, on ESO where I only had, like, two, three characters. Now I have fucking eight. I ain't goddamn characters. I got them all kind of divided up into different themes and whatnot. But even then, I'm like, I want to... I want to... <laughs> I, wa I, wanna, I want a different type of character. I got so many characters, it's just like, I don't know what, the, I don't have nothing to do with, with all of them, you know, it's just, I'm going to say, don't delete your characters, don't delete your characters, don't delete the characters, I'm like, man, shit for, I might have to, I've, de I've deleted a couple characters off of this, so yeah, whatever, you do what you do, I spend my money to play the game, I'm going to play it how I don't want to, if I, if I want to go through that whole grind of leveling up a character again, it's my goddamn business. But I can't really, I didn't, I didn't got to the point where I can't really make them any different. So, you know, I'd have to go. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I, I can't. I would have to go through and just, I'm trying to think now. I'm like, what can I, I don't know. Anyway, they ain't got nothing to do with this video. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about was the, the acquisition. And yeah, Microsoft bought. Zenimax Media. They didn't buy Bethesda. They got Bethesda in the package, but they bought Zenimax. So, yeah, y'all. And I, I've seen that to where people have put that in their headlines to get the little clicks. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. You know, I only get maybe a half a view per video. So, I might have to do a little clickbait. <laughs> This one will get clickbait because the tags I use on this are like tags that everybody else is going to be using. The regular tags I use on all my other videos are not tags that uh, pull in views because I'm not talking about shit that people want to hear about. So, And I'm not going to go fill up my tags with shit that I ain't talking about. I'm just, I, I don't do that. It's just, my video just be popping up right in the middle of shit. Ain't got nothing to do with nobody's shit. Uh, anyway, I will catch you guys later. I'm for the go, uh, I ain't for the edit shit. This video going out as is. That's what my videos are. As motherfucking is. I add an intro and an outro and that's fucking it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a, a intro, a title page, an intro, and I, you know, and an out, you know, a couple of, um, that, whatever y'all see if y'all watch the video. Yeah. I'm out of here, man. <laughs>